Hi everybody, I'm Miss Lisa with Wayne County Public Library and this is going to be our last story time of the year, but we do have summer reading program coming up. Check us out June 23rd is going to be our first date. Um, you can register for that. Uh, I think May 1st will be our um, online registration or come into any library that's local for you and register for summer reading program. Again, that starts June 23rd. But let's go ahead and start with our last story time. So we're going to talk about eating healthy. Um, and I've found a few things that I thought were interesting about eating healthy that I didn't know. That's the one fun thing about working in the library. You get to do a lot of research on things. So one of the things I found out, um, I don't know if you ever see mom and dad drinking coffee in the morning and they drink that for the caffeine to help them get going because ca caffeine gives you energy and keeps you awake. Well, this is a surprise you can share with your mom and dad. Apples are actually more effective than coffee at waking you up in the morning and they don't have that caffeine. Uh, bananas aren't the only fruit with potassium. You can eat avocados. I know most people go black avocados, but they actually have twice the amount of potassium that bananas do. And did you know that green tipped bananas are better for you than over ripened bananas? And bananas do contain a lot of sugar. Um, and if you eat them with protein, like bananas and peanut butter, the insulin levels are normalized. I know that's like way above your head, but tell your mom and dad, they'll understand. Now this is really cool. Broccoli, I know, broccoli. But broccoli contains twice the amount of vitamin C that an orange does. That's pretty cool. Um, so if you don't like an orange, try a little bit um, stalk of broccoli. It also contains, this is really cool, it contains as much calcium as whole milk does and is actually absorbed better into your body. A lot of people can't tolerate milk. It's called lactose intolerance. Try broccoli. You get just as much calcium with broccoli. Um, and this is really cool. If you don't know what parsley is, ask your mom or dad. But parsley is also great to help ease your tummy. If you have an upset tummy, it helps your digestive system. And it's also a natural breath freshener. <sighs> um, and it has three times the amount of vitamin C as an orange does, and twice the amount of iron that spinach does. So um, all kinds of fun things about food that's good for you that I didn't know about. But that's why you have a library. You can go in and research it and check it out. So we are going to start with Jack and the Hungry Giant, um, Eat Right With My Plate. And this book is written, by, written and illustrated by Lorraine Leedy, and it's published by Holiday House. Late one afternoon, Jack got into big trouble. Why did you trade our lovely cow for those silly beans? He had to go to bed early. When Jack woke up the next morning, rustle, rustle, he heard a strange rustling noise and it was coming from a huge beanstalk that was growing, growing, growing up into the sky. Jack started climbing higher and higher and higher. Jack came to a big house. Actually, it was a giant house. When nobody answered the door, he squeezed underneath it. That was a bad idea. Jack tried to hide then had to dive into a boot. Pee-you! Jack squinched down as far as he could, and then he heard the front door opening. Creak! A giant picked up the boot and stared at Jack and said, I'm hungry! The giant had a huge knife. With a daring leap, Jack tried to escape. The giant grabbed him and said, be careful, my tiny friend. Are you hungry, too? Let's have a healthy meal. I'm Waldorf. What's your name? Uh, Jack. Tell me, Jack, what are your favorite vegetables? Squash? Peas? Turnips? Um, I like corn, but I can't eat this much. Wow, look at all those vegetables on this on the screen. Eggplants and broccoli. Mm-mm. Yellow squash. Cauliflower. Thanks for fixing the fruit salad, Jack. You're welcome, Waldorf. Mmm, luscious fruit, strawberries. Ooh, they're in season right now, too. We have grains to choose from. Lots and lots of grains. Ooh, wow, they've got waffles and pretzels. Mmm, brand cereal, pasta. No, bad kitty. 
Let's choose our protein foods such as nuts and seeds and beans and seafood and meat or poultry. Mm, mm, mm. Poultry means birds people eat such as chicken and turkey. We'll have some dairy foods too. Those are cheeses like yogurt and cheddar cheese and mozzarella cheese. Whoops! Swiss cheese has holes in it. Waldorf chopped and poured and stirred. His wife, Sophia, came home just in time to eat. Hello there. Hi. Hello, darling. Grab a plate. So it's healthy to fill half your plate with fruits and vegetables? Right. The other half has grains and protein foods. Help yourself to a serving of dairy, too. That sounds good to me, Sophia. Let's get some exercise later. We could toss boulders. We could play swamp tag. I know an excellent exercise. Climbing. Bye, guys, and thanks again for the great grub. See you soon. So, boys and girls, in the back of this book, there are Waldorf's tips for healthy eating. And it shows you your plate and how you should separate it. And it also shares what you should do about drinks. It says have fewer foods and um, have fewer foods and drinks with empty calories. Soda pop, not good for you. Lots of empty calories in a soda. So, um, hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, come check this out if you want to remember some of the good foods they had in there. Um, and we're going to read The Gulps. This was written by Rosemary Wells and illustrated by Mark Brown. And it is published by Little Brown and Company. The Gulps. Get out the map, said Papa Gulp. Dizzy World, here we come, sang Mama Gulp. Wow, shouted Sister Gulp. Roller coaster mania and deep fried devil dogs, Brother Gulp chimed in. I'd rather sip a carrot shake and go paddling in the duck pond, said Little Sister Dawn. Papa revved up the engine and the American Dreamliner hit the road. By the time they reached the end of the driveway, the gulps had snoffed down all their winky tinks and jiffy chips, and soon they pulled up into the belly up burger. We don't even have to get out of the car, Mama said with delight. Four bloat burgers with cheese, please, and ultra-size those fries, said Papa. I'll have a salad, said Dawn. The Dreamliner wheezed and rattled down the road until finally it sputtered to a stop. Flat tire, said Brother. It must be the carburetor again, said Mama. Only Dawn really knew what was wrong. The car says no, declared Dawn. The family is too fat to roll. Maybe we should lighten the load, said Papa. And the gulps chucked out three TVs and a microwave. But the Dreamliner might as well have been parked in the cement. I'm hungry, said Brother. I wish the pizza man would come. Sometimes just wishing makes things happen, said Mama. There was a knock at the door. It was Farmer Spratt. Need any help? he asked. Engine trouble, explained Papa. Is there any place around here to eat? asked Mama. My goodness, said Farmer Spratt. We got plenty to eat. Come and stay for supper. The Spratts cooked supper fresh from the garden. The gulps watched nervously. None of it was takeout. None of it was frozen or came in a can. What is it? whispered brother. It's green, whispered sister. The gulps were too polite to say that they didn't ever put anything green into their mouths. They hid the salad in their shirts and went to bed hungry. Except Dawn, who fell asleep full of sweet corn and zucchini bread. The next day, there was work to be done on the farm, and the gulps did their best to help. Papa tried to patch the hen house roof, but he couldn't get up the ladder. Mama couldn't reach the eggs on the hen house floor. Sister and brother picked snap beans, but they were too heavy to carry. Dawn learned to pick big apple pan dowdy from scratch. The next morning, the gulps were so sore they could hardly move. We're not really used to outdoor work, said Mama. Well, what do you do at home? asked Farmer Spratt. Mostly watch TV answered Papa. Well, why not come along with us on our hike down to the county fair? Mrs. Spratt suggested. That sounds great, said Dawn. We never walk, groaned Papa, except to the refrigerator, said Mama. 
The county fair was worth the hike. It had everything. Deep fried corn dogs, shouted Mama with tears of joy. Miles and miles of funnel cake, crowed Papa Gulp. There was a country music band, a hay wagon ride, and a killer whale water slide. But the dance floor collapsed under two gulps jitterbugging. The wheels on the hay wagon snapped off when the gulps got in, and four gulps at once were too much for the water slide. They got stuck, and it had to be closed down. Dawn woke the family up the next morning at 6 a.m. If the Dreamliner is ever going to roll again, said Dawn, somebody's going to have to exercise and eat right. Sometimes wishing makes things happen, Mama said. Mama, replied Dawn, stop wishing and start working. No soda for breakfast, no snacks, candy or chips, nothing frozen, fried or dyed, no heaping helpings, fresh from the farm only and lots of outdoor work. We'll starve to death, said Mama. But the gulps did not starve, bit by bit. They got out and got fit. Bite by bite, they began to eat right. The gulps were eating green, and green tasted great. By summer's end, they were stacking hay bales, mowing and fencing, hoeing and wood chopping, bucket hauling and painting the woodshed. Mama picked up dozens of eggs. Papa went up the ladder without breaking a single rung. Brother and sister carried baskets of beans and tomatoes with no trouble at all. Try the Dreamliner, Pop, Don said one morning. It started right up and rolled right out of its place. Get the map out, whooped Papa. Where are you going? asked the Sprats. We're going to climb Mount Dauntless, said Mama. The gulps thanked the Sprats and everybody kissed goodbye. Then the Dreamliner headed for the hills. Soon it was lunchtime. On one side of the road was Porker Heaven. On the other side was Captain Cluck's Chicken. In front of them was Belly Up Burger. Oh no, there's nothing to eat, cried Mama. What's that? Don asked suddenly. Hot diggity, shouted Brother. It's Salad Circus. Six hundred different kinds of salad, cheered Sister. <clears throat> Two minutes later, the gulps were inside and ordering. Don't forget to ultra-size those tomatoes, said Papa, and the gulps chowed down. Then the American Dreamliner tore up the highway. It went 65 miles an hour, uphill, with no trouble at all. <laughs> Bit much, but sounds fun to eat right. Um, hope you do that. Eat right and exercise, and we'll see you next time.